So Jim, as you know, uh, we're dedicated here to encouraging strategies for teaching doctors and public health professionals and other health professionals about evolution. But we'd like to ask our guests, so do you think that's a good idea? Is this actually useful for doctors? A hundred years ago, um, physicians were in a very different position in terms of trying experiments, trying things out. That There was no approval process. Today, I think they're much more constrained. So the question is, what what would they do with that understanding of evolution? I think in the case of things like prescribing antibiotics, if they're aware that overprescription of antibiotics can change sort of the level of resistance in a population, that's certainly of some benefit. Um, but I, I would go back to something George Williams told me back in the 70s or so, and he, and he undoubtedly, this is where your paper with him came from, he said, wouldn't it be good if doctors understood evolution and when patients came in, they could talk to them about evolution. He thought that would really enhance the public acceptance of evolution. And, and this, is actually, this is actually where I come out. I think the greatest utility of evolution is just so doctors understand what disease is and they can talk with patients about that and defenses. Um, where it may be more important is, say, with MD, PhDs, people actually doing the research their understanding of evolution could be really critical, as opposed to the clinician where they've got a set of protocols they have to follow. So I think it's worth them knowing something about evolution, but in terms of where we go with our treatments, uh, I would say I'd push it more on the MD, PhD level, the where the needed. researchers are yeah. And public are health, involved. too. Yes, yes. Thank you, good.